today's show was excellent. Jamal always does a great job of uh, keeping the kids involved and giving them great tips on how to be successful right now and in the future. Again, I'm looking at just the children. I mean, everyone can benefit from it because everyone needs to have some kind of encouragement in their life. What I did is I ended up putting together these VHS tapes. They had these things called VHS tapes. If you know what I'm talking about, you know you're aging. All right. Uh, we put together these VHS tapes, we mailed it off, and I mailed it off to try to get on this one TV show. This TV show was called Star Search. Now, this Star Search was before all this X Factor, American Idol, making the bet, all that. It was before that. Like, you had one guy on stage, Jim McMahon, he get on stage, he say, yes, you are the winner. Or no, you are the winner. Five stars, you get your money, you come back next week. That's what they did. Well, I tried to get on the show. I thought my magic show would be real good on the show. I said, man, it looked like, you know, it'd be cool to have this little short black guy doing magic. Y'all like that? Well, I didn't get a call from Star Search. I got a call from another show called the Statler Brothers Show. It was a country music show. Now, I don't listen to country music. Never really was a country music fan. I mean, I, I was a Billy Ray Cyrus a little bit. There was a song back in the day, Don't Break My Heart, My Aching. I was so into that. Don't, don't nod your head, don't do that, because then they don't know. Yeah, don't look at it. She, she, you must have had that CD, huh? Yeah, look at it. She had it, yeah. And I used to like that song, but you, it was one of those kind of songs you didn't tell all your people you liked it, you know. You started listening to it, you started doing a little something, you know. Back in the boy one time, y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you had that CD too, didn't you? I know we sold 10. Two of them were sold in here, right here. I didn't really want to get on a country music uh, show, and my father told me that I needed to do that because what it would do, it would expose me to things that I might not want to be exposed to that would help me be successful. Listen to what I'm saying. It exposed me to things that I might not want to be exposed to to help me be successful. I remember it was like yesterday, I ended up uh, going on the show, and part of the show, again, it was a country music channel, part of the show, they had you in this thing called the green room right before you go on the show. The green room had a nice spread. I mean, your green room, you get your eat on. This is one of those kind of things. I don't know why they put the green room right before you go on. That don't make any sense to me. But I would go in the green room, and I was sitting in the green room. I looked outside the door of the green room, outside the window of the green room, and I saw this big bus. Big bus, beautiful bus, decked out. Had this lady's name on the side, Reba McIntyre. So I don't know Reba, but Reba got a nice bus out there. Reba, Reba got it going on for real. So what ended up happening is I ended up meeting Reba backstage right before I go on. She went up to me, she said, how you doing little fella? And stuff like that. <laughs> tell me what she said, now you ain't gotta laugh at it, I mean. It's important though, at that time, you gotta understand your first impression is not only the lasting impression, it's the most important impression. I ended up shaking her hand, meeting her, get a chance to meet her. And from that point on, Reba. There's special guests. 